119, or no, it's 115. 115. And verse 11. <coughs> verse 11. Ye that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Amen? Amen. Fearing is not a bad thing, is it? If you're fearing the right one. Um, Psalm 119 and verse 165. I, you know, I can go with hundreds of these verses. I only picked a few. Okay? <laughs> 119, 165. You there? Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall what? Nothing shall offend. It, it, is, is God's law a, a list of do's and don'ts to you? Because if they are, you're looking at it completely wrong. Because God's Ten Commandments are, are God's promises to you. That's what they are. They're God's promises. And I want to end with Ecclesiastes. We have this man, Solomon, that was... The Bible says the wisest man that walked the earth, right? He wrote a couple books in here, didn't he? He wrote, wrote Proverbs, he wrote Ecclesiastes, and he wrote Song of Solomon, or Song of Songs, correct? If we turn to the very last chapter of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, I'll give you a summary of the book of Ecclesiastes. Solomon says, look, I've done it all. I've been everywhere, I've had everything, I've tried it all. There is nothing that I've held with help from myself. And trust me, he had more money than all the people in this world have to today stacked up. And he said, it's all vanity. It's all vanity. And in verse 13 and 14, he sums the whole thing up. He says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Brothers and sisters, in surrendering, we become free. In dying, we become alive. It's a very, very simple message. God's love is for us. And until we learn to fear not being with Him, we will not possess this kind of love that we need. This love can only come from outside of us. We do not have the answers, as Eastern mysticism will tell you. Only God has the answers. And His Holy Spirit is here with us right now. And He wants to be in us not just with us. God has promised there will be an army. If you read the Song of Solomon, it says there will be an army marching as with banners. God's people will move as one man. And can you imagine what the sight's going to be like? Because the devil quakes in his boots when he sees one man or woman that's sold out lock, stock, and barrel for Jesus Christ. You remember there was somebody that claimed to be um, a Christian and the, the devils went and they beat him up, right? Sent him away naked. Paul I know, he said, right? Cephas I know, right? But who are you? See, nobody can touch you if you are God's unless God allow it. He is waiting for us. To get quiet. To get with Him. This can happen soon. Or it can happen later. Are we comfortable here? Do we want to continue in this dark place? You know, I, I, I just walk in through the store. I hear songs. Oh, I'm hoping Jesus comes. But not today. Not today. What is that? I mean, people hear these songs, they sing these songs. They don't even realize what they're saying. You know? I want Jesus now. 
Amen. Heaven can begin today. Today. Sister, would you come and bring us a closing song? Ready?
Help us. Encourage us. Allow your Holy Spirit to win battles for us so that we can stand in awe of our God. Allow us to leave this place today and go and help and encourage Rebecca's family in Jesus' name.